today I'm here with a new video and today it is day number three, I think, in my novel week. And today it is of course time for a new first impression. And the first impression is with Cutie Volume 2. And this is coral and it comes in this little plastic sleeve that is just see-through I think. The back is pink. So this front looks like this and I really really like the packaging. As I said in my other videos I really like Nabla's cardboard packaging and I think they have a good size when it comes to palettes. So this is the Curie Volume 2 and this one I know that a lot of people love. It looks like this and that red shade amazing and also this one I'm so looking forward to. But I think I would swatch this and maybe I should have checked up what kind of different formula it is in this palette before I started this video but have I? I have not. So I'm going to swatch this for you. So okay, these are the shades and this red one looks amazing and also like this one and this one, I don't know if you can see. But like the lighter ones as well. And yeah, I think I know what I want to do. I'm pretty sure. Or am I? I don't think I will use all of the shades in this. I did that in the other cutie palette, but I don't think I will do this in this one because I think I know what I want to do and I do not want to use all of them. So yeah, I'm going to take away the swatches, see me in a little bit, and then we get started. Okay, and I think I actually will start with Anyway, this dark brown or this brown and take it on my outer corner of my eye and then I think up in my crease as well. I take one of my Kaleidos brushes and I take this as I said and this I feel like this is a matte one. And I take it just kind of out here. And then I try to take it in my crease as well. I'm not used to like this stiffer brushes in my crease. So if it doesn't look super good right now, I don't think it's either not the brush or the shadow's fault, I think it's just my fault. And I was like, okay, I want to do a pretty dark look because <laughs> it has been light all, all this week, but it has not. I've only <laughs> done two videos and yeah, yesterday was pretty light makeup, but Monday was not. I think something like this works for me and yes we are going to have more fun than this okay and then on my lid I want to go in with red shape of course and take it on the whole lid and I will try without spraying without any glitter glue just slap this on and ooh. I love me a good red shade and it feels like I start to like shimmer reds more. I don't know if it is because I have quite a good amount of matte red shades and not that many shimmers. And then I'm like, I want to test out the shimmer reds. And okay, I went a little bit overboard. Yes, I did. 
Okay, this works amazing to take over the brown, but I think I actually want to go in with some more of the brown. And yeah, who am I? Who are you watching and what have I done with Lisa? I don't know. I really like this. I have never like been into corals that much on blushes yes but on eyeshadows no but I don't feel like this is a coral palette and I was not planning on buying this or the nude cutie either but it was a really good price on Beauty Bay and also people have talked so good about these palettes both of them so I was like okay I want to have them and as right now I really like this I like Nablus sh sh shades shadows I think they are really good with eyeshadows and with lipsticks or liquid lipsticks and with highlighters and blush as well Okay, I actually think that I will go like this. I really like this red. So, I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back in with Dewy Under Eyes. And I... It is three shades that I haven't used yet. Four shades. So, I am not going to use all of them in these... In, these, in this video. Oh my lord. It's hard today. I do not, I do not, I'm not going to use all of the four shades. I am not going to use all of the six shades in this palette. Jesus Christ. Um, but I will at least try to use two more, um, I think. So I fix my base and then I come back and we do the under eyes. Okay, so it's time for under eyes and I think I will go in with coral amber this one and just smudged it like and smudged this like all over my lower lash actually and I really hope that this will stick somewhat at least Okay, and I actually think I want to go in with this mandarin in like my inner corner and maybe a little bit up on the red one because it feels like this is kind of a topper shade. I don't know. I think I will start without any glitter glue and see just how it looks. Not glitter glue, spraying it, but I think I need to, but maybe not. Okay, we'll start with this, just to put it over here. Ooh. This was actually really nice. Down here. And yeah, I think I am set like this. So I'm putting something in my waterline, put on the mascara, try to choose a lippy, and then I come back with a finished first look and first impression of. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Alter Flash from Linda Holberg, and for my lips, I used Rumors from Nabla, and I really love this red. And this is one of their normal, it's not a limited edition, so. If you like red, I can recommend this so, so much. So, this was my first impression with a cutie palette coral. And I have used four shades at least. I used... No, I poke in that one. I've used red shape, anyway, mandarin and coral amber. And I like this look. I love the red shape. The red one, it is such... A nice red and also it's mandarin maybe I wish that it was a little bit it looked 
looks more like orange in the pan and then swatching it because then it's pretty like I in my world this is like more a topper I don't know if you even can see it um, I guess if you like but it feels more like a topper for me I don't know but I really like it and this one I like that it is possible to have it like underneath my eyes I don't think that this is like a standalone palette I think it's like a good companion palette if you're maybe taking a more nude palette and then want to spice it up with some of these but yeah I really like this one as well and it's I'm happy that I bought it and I think this palette is also vegan the other little palette was vegan as well if I'm not mistaken but yeah I really hope you like this video and tomorrow we are going back or I am going back to one of the older palettes and I think I don't know which palette I want to end this week with. I don't know yet. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!